Hey everyone, Josh Tells Off-Road. Today we're on Odessa Canyon. Odessa is a hard trail here in Calico. Calico is about halfway between LA and also Las Vegas. The great thing about this trail is the scenery. This trail has tons of different colors in the rocks. There's a lot of mines, a lot of exploring. And the difficulty, op the difficult obstacles on this trail are including what people call Wall Street. There's a large waterfall and also Pucker Pass, plus a few rock crawling areas. So definitely a blast for a trail. It takes about anywhere between 30 minutes and all day to get this trail done. But the side exploring is what really is neat about this trail. There's a lot of mines. If you're into mines, it's a lot of fun to explore the mines. A lot of beautiful scenery. Why don't we just sit back and I'll show you some of the stuff I like about this trail. Straight out of the get-go, you get some of this amazing scenery in this amazing canyon. The canyon is a bright red color and it's definitely one of my favorite things. Let's continue up the trail and see what's next. Just outside the canyon is the very first obstacle, the large rock cart. It's also what people like to call it the gatekeeper. This little area is full of large rocks, some of about three to four feet around, and can make a good challenge. If you struggle here, it might not be a good idea to continue on because it only gets harder. Let's keep watching the video. Upon exiting the rock garden, it opens up to a more open area. This is a great little part of the drive. Very scenic, lots of great colors, nothing too difficult. There are some squeezes and large rocks yet to go over, but overall, a nice, beautiful drive through this again. Let's keep going on the trail. After coming around the left corner, you're going to see the next obstacle, and that is the large waterfall. The waterfall is about 5 to 7 feet in overall height. The front ledge is about 5 feet, while there's about 2 more feet of rise just behind it. Most of the time you'll find a lot of rocks piled up in this area. Also, once on top, it doesn't get much easier. There's a couple different areas that the short wheelbase like to get hung up in and can get stuck even though it's almost flat ground. If you're interested in details about this trail, you can find it at www.chillsoffroad.com or click on the link below. Now sit back and let's see who makes up this waterfall and who doesn't. The next major obstacle on the trail is known as Wall Street. Wall Street is a narrow canyon that's barely wider in the vehicle, but the problem is it has a 20-25 degree tilt into the side of the mountain. The low side is very dug out with lots of big holes, and what happens is you fall off those lines and fall in the holes, and next thing you know, you're hitting inside your body, you're doing roof damage, so it's important that you make sure you pick the right line. This area is actually misnamed, because people like to call it Wall Street thinking that it's Wall Street, which is Wall Street's actually a whole nother canyon not far from here because the walls, I think Wall Street. 
The trick to this obstacle is you stick to the high side of the canyon. If you keep your tires almost right against the cliff, that allows you to maintain traction and prevents you from falling in the holes, which ends up allowing you to slide into the wall. Stay to the high side, no body damage. Now let's see who struggles making it through Wall Street. Surprisingly, this trip we had several people struggling to get through Wall Street. So, we decided to take out the winch, get them up the mountain, and uh, get them safety without having any further damage to their vehicles. You have to be careful when you're winching on this spot because if you don't winch up away from the hill, it'll just drag them right into the side of the hill. Next thing you know, tons of body damage. They're not happy. Maybe the photographers are, but the driver definitely isn't. Now, let's see if this guy makes it. Top of Odessa is Pucker Pass. Pucker Pass is a little narrow area that's pretty intense. It's about as wide as your vehicle, but the problem is there's a left turn in the middle of Pucker Pass, giving a lot of excitement for what's going to actually happen. Uh, your left rear tire has a tendency of falling off the ledge, and it's about a 15 foot drop down, so if you fall off, you're going to roll over and land on your roof. Not a fun, th fun idea. Gets a lot of people's heart pumping, and this is actually one of the obstacles on this trail that most people turn around and don't do this trail, and which is funny because it's the last obstacle. There is only one real trick to doing this obstacle, and that is stay as far as you can to the right. Stay against the mountain. The farther you stay against the mountain, the longer, the easier the obstacle. If you try to go down the middle of the trail, then get close to the mountain, your rear tires will be too far over, and you can fall off. So do this, stay against the mountain since the beginning, and you'll be fine. Just be ready. This will make your heart stop. It is scary, and there's a chance you might just turn around. Now let's see if anyone makes a critical mistake and you're on the lid.
Now just above Pucker Pass is a bunch of abandoned mines. A lot of these mines are really, really deep and also have vertical shafts. I like to go in there to cool off, get out of the heat. Also, they're fun to explore, but you have to be careful. People have been known to die in these mine shafts, so be careful, have fun, make sure the flashlight, and enjoy your time. You can find more information on this trail at www.trailsoffroad.com or click on the link below. Please like, share, and leave a comment below. And also leave a trip report of the next time you're out on one of these trails. Thank you for watching.